young warrior, you must prove your bravery. You may fear the unknown, but you will learn to face it, front on and rein it like a mighty steed. Your challenge begins in the lands of Photoshop, where you must open new worlds and save them. Navigation and customization will also be key, in order to dwell safely within. The journey begins. Welcome to the land of Photoshop. Firstly, we'll create a new document, file, new, give it a name. And we can also input the pixel dimensions. Good rule of thumb is to make it at least 2000 by 2000 pixels. Don't worry about the rest of this stuff too much, but you probably do want to be painting RGB color. You can also save that preset. Okay, now we've opened it, we can save it. So that's how to save it. Now for this tutorial, we want to open up our worksheet. To download that, just grab it from the description in the link, or the link in the description. Now we've completed those first two objectives. We next want to learn how to zoom in and out. So to do that, just control plus or control minus. You can also use the zoom tool. The default hotkey for that is Z, but you can also choose from the tools palette. All right, so now that we've zoomed in, we can pan along this path down to the rock. So to pan, we hold the space bar, and that'll give us the hand tool. Another way to navigate is to use the navigator window. So as you can see, it gives you a little mini map that you can drag along. This also allows us to zoom in and out. So you can scratch off those objectives. Now we can create our own workspace. You'll see I've already got my own workspace here. So to start afresh, just get rid of that. I'll just show you the essential ones that you need for painting in Photoshop. So we go up to window. You want the brush palette, the color palette, layers palette, and the navigator. This is very useful, although not necessary. All right, so we've got our little palette here, got a collection of palettes all docked together. Then we can save that workspace by clicking the drop down menu on the top right, make a new workspace, give it a name that you want. You can also save the keyboard shortcuts and menus. To create your own keyboard shortcuts, go to edit, keyboard shortcuts, and you can change it there. Once you're happy with the keyboard shortcuts you've set, you can save it here. Now, one thing useful to do with keyboard shortcuts is to make them readily accessible, much like hotkeys in a video game. So for instance, I've got a Q set for selecting brush, E for eraser, also use S for smudge, A and D to increase and decrease brush size. Alright, now last but not least, I'll just show you how to create a new layer. So we go into our layers palette down here, we can click this little icon down here, and that's creating new layers for us. You can also create a new layer by clicking the drop down menu here. Now we've completed all our objectives and we've earned our crest reward. <laughs> 